In this lesson, we're going to talk about angles, and we're going to be categorizing the angles. Um, so first off, an angle is two rays with a common endpoint. So visually, you have something like this. So this is known as the initial side. This is known as the terminal side. And then the angle in between. But angles can be described in two different directions. Uh, direction matters. So if you go in this direction, your angle will be positive. So let's say it's 40 degrees. Um, however, you could describe the other direction for that angle. You could go this direction. And that is going to make negative 320 degrees. Because the two go all the way around, so that basically would always make 360 degrees. So if you know one, you can always figure out the other. Um, those two angles are known as coterminal angles. Coterminal angles have... Um, the, uh, the location of the terminal side of terminal sides are the same. So if you were to draw something like, um, let's say we graph, Um, 160 degrees. So in the trig world, we start putting things onto x and y axes, and we're going to draw 160 degrees. Well, 160 degrees is 20 degrees shy of 180 degrees, so we're looking at that. But what would be a coterminal angle? Well, a coterminal angle would be if we went the other direction. So if we went the other direction, how do we figure that out? Well, a couple different ways. Um, some people will be able to kind of logically through it, but mathematically, you can take 160 degrees and you can take 360 minus 160, well, let me switch that around, 160 minus 360. In order to be in the exact same location, it's like a clock. So every hour, no matter where you're starting, so if your uh, minute hand's on the two, you go 360 degrees, one hour later, you're exactly at the same spot. Different time, but as far as that, you're not looking at that, you're just trying to figure out where does the hour hand end. So adding and subtracting 360 is always going to get you there. So mathematically, take whatever your original angle is, subtract 360, add 360, and those would be coterminal angles. Now the angles are different, but as far as where they end, they're going to be exactly the same. So we're going to draw visuals on both. So negative 160 minus 360 will get you negative 200 degrees. And so the visual on that would be we're going to go in the negative direction, um, and we're going to go 20 degrees past our 180. So that would be negative 200 degrees. Um, if we did this one, we add this together, we got 520 degrees, which basically means we are going to go 360, and then we are going to go 160 degrees more. And we will end in the exact same location. So that's the idea of coterminal, is whatever your original angle is, you can have... Um, something that's a thousand degrees and you wanted to list out um, different coterminal angles. So for example, let's say you were given um, 500 degrees and you wanted to give two more positive and two negative coterminal angles. So, to 
figure that out. You could just basically take if you want positives. You could go um, 500. And since you're more than one time around, um, you could basically take that 500 and subtract 360. And that's going to give you one example of a um, positive coterminal. So 140 degrees. Now the problem is if you subtract another 360, you're not going to be in the positives anymore. So to find another positive, this would be one, but then you could take 500 and add 360. So you'll have 860. So if you draw those, they'd be in the exact same location. If you wanted some negatives, you would take your 500, um, subtract 360, which is going to get you a 140, but then you got to subtract 360 one more time, and that'll get you further into the negatives, or actually into the negatives. So negative 220 degrees, but um, you wanted two negatives and two positives, so here's your two positives, so then you just go further. So now you just kind of start with the negative 220, and subtract 360 and that's going to get you a negative 580. All right. Um, and then the last piece of information is just a quick classification. So some terminology. Um, so we have um, like a uh, acute angles. Uh, an acute angle is some sort of an angle between 0 and 90 degrees, not including the 0, not including the 90. Um, then you have a, an obtuse, well, we have a right angle, and that is when your angle equals 90 degrees. So visually, you got something that's a small angle something that makes 90 degrees and make sure you throw the symbol in that way no matter how ugly your angle looks this was meant to be 90 degrees um, obtuse angle so an obtuse angle is something between 90 and 180 so kind of a bigger angle Bigger than 90 is typically kind of how you'll hear it, but it does have a restriction that it's going to be less than 180 because when it actually equals 180, that is known as a straight angle. And then when it's straight angle because it makes straight line. So that is when your theta, your angle equals 180 degrees. Okay, so that was a little bit of an introduction to some terminology and some information about coterminal angles. Thanks.